Hi Leo, thank you so much for joining me here today and welcome to your reading with me. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, it's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. Okay, I'm wanting to stick out straight away, an apology. Return forgiveness gifts. So maybe this is why I'm picking up on this anxiety as well. Um, because it really, really feels that this Divine Masculine wants to reach out and they want to apologise. You know, they, they want your forgiveness and they know they, they need forgiveness from you. You know, they, they've done something that requires forgiveness here. So they want to return here, but there's a huge, huge amount of anxiety around that. So I guess that's what I've been picking up on as well. Um, really really thinking about this a lot and almost on the verge of doing it but they're holding themselves back so much because of this anxiety around them they're really scared about how you're going to react um you know they they owe you so many apologies it's just like they're almost not able to bring themselves to do it right now because they're just so they feel so ashamed is the word i just got um and you know they're worried like are they going to reach out and apologise and you're just going to reject them? So they're kind of holding themselves back from that too. Even though they know they need to apologise, you know, even if you didn't want them back, they know they need to do it, but it, that rejection is just something they can't even take right now. But, well, let's see what else comes out here, you know. Are they going to go through with this um, apology? I, you know, I already feel like a lot of them will overcome that. But I feel like this is a lot to do with why the communication is stuck for a lot of you. This apology needs to happen. And this Divine Masculine really is just, uh, ha or has been, they've corrected me, so they may be coming out of this. But it has been... Um, <sighs> just really in their head about this, um, nervous, extremely nervous and anxious to do this. <clears throat> Make it clear, please. Yes, okay. Conflicted, multiple choices, inconsistency, decisions. Um... You know, I feel like this apology is centred quite a lot around them um, being inconsistent with you. You know, it's like every time they kind of um, come forward and start progressing things with you, they, they leave, you know, just a very inconsistent energy. And like what they were saying to you didn't match up with their 3D actions. You know, they could have been like, wanting a lot of commitment with you maybe even like suggesting moving in together you know really committed things and then leaving it feels like you know and obviously we've got this kind of third party like multiple choices options around here um and really making the wrong decisions a lot in the past so it kind of feels like that's also why they're conflicted about apologizing um it's almost like they've done, they, they feel like they've done so much wrong here that they're not even sure, you know, an apology is enough to give. It almost feels like it's just, um, it's such a strange energy. I'm getting like, they're almost kind of embarrassed to apologise because it just feels so insignificant, you know. Um, but... I, I just keep getting this, they are really wanting your forgiveness, you know, they know they owe you this apology. Um, and they just, they have been really conflicted about reaching out about this. Um, it's almost like one day they think they'll do it and they're kind of trying to psych themselves up to do it. And then they just can't quite go through with it. <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> I 
I'm just before I even look at this card, I'm being told the like. It is like a lot of them are going to make the right decision here and they're going to come forward and they're going to kind of offer this olive branch out because there needs to be a discussion here. Um, and with this group of Divine Masculines, it feels like they've been really controlling over this, um, a bit stubborn and things have been stuck between you guys because they're not allowing the situation to kind of unfold the way it should do um and and have more communication and have real kind of deep heart to heart conversations but I, i'm just getting i feel like a lot of them are gonna overcome this and i do feel like this is a lot of what they're going to say to you with this apology is that they are sorry that they have treated you as an option in the past that they have been inconsistent um, you know, it's just like they know they've been an idiot and they've done so many things wrong here and so many things they regret with this. Um, for many of you, they could all honestly be showing up with a gift here. It could actually be flowers, but it's kind of symbolic, the flowers of like wanting to offer you um, a gift, a peace offering. So, I mean, they, they it feels like that really kind of humble, ashamed uh, energy around this. So they're going to be really trying to come to you correct, like, you know, showing up chivalrous, like with flowers, you know, it's that type of thing. <laughs> Confessions. Oh, wow. Okay. Unexpected message unveiling justification. So this is, yeah, what I was getting here, like a lot of them are going to overcome this. Okay. So it feels like a confessional. You know, I've been getting this quite a lot in my personal readings as well. Like, um, someone really confessing their sins to you. You know, their innermost um, thoughts, secrets, emotions, feelings. Um, you know, they are actually going to be revealing quite a lot to you, it feels, here. With this unveiling, like unveiling... You know, what What the image I'm getting is someone actually removing their mask, okay? So this is like a Divine Masculine who... Suddenly you're really going to be seeing underneath the mask how they feel, what they've been thinking. They're... Um, it's like they're going to be opening up to you in a way that they haven't um, before here. So yeah, expect, um, you know, an unexpected text message or something here coming in. Um, they do want to confess a lot to you. Um, for me, this is uh, someone who could work in the music industry and only at the microphone here. Uh, songwriter, musician, DJ, I'm just getting. Um, could even be someone that uses a microphone like in their job, like if they're a lecturer or something. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to kind of come out of nowhere here, this. Let's get some more here with this. I'm also just being told about well, this conflicted card. Um, it's like a lot of you are going to be conflicted if you're going to entertain this Divine Masculine. It feels like you're willing to hear out what they've got to say and their apology, but it feels because they have been so inconsistent with you here. Um, and I just feel like a lot of repeated patterns. Some of you are, you're, you're going to have like an inner conflict. Like, are you going to accept this apology? Are you going to let them back into your life here? Sidetrack. Delays, distractions, change. Hmm. I might get another card to go with this. Um, hmm. But with this, the multiple choices here, inconsistencies, it does feel like there's been a third party situation around this, which distracted them. And that's kind of a lot to do with the delays um, 
in progress in your relationship here. Um, it's like something or someone else caught their eye. But I, you know, I always get like, I feel a change coming in with this card. That's why I feel like this person is really sorry about that. And, and finally kind of, it's almost like they finally stopped lying to themselves with this confession to you. And it's like a, a sort of wake up call that they know um, this behavior is like not acceptable and it's just not working and they need to change it. So that's the type of thing they'll be talking about in this apology, I feel like as well. Illusions, clouded judgment, unbalance, skewed. Yeah, um, you know how I said like someone or something else distracted them here? It really could have been a substance abuse issue as well going on here. Clouded judgment, you know, smoking a lot of weed. That also could be what they're doing to deal with the anxiety and stress that I mentioned at the beginning. Smoking a lot of weed, uh, drinking a lot. Something that kind of made their their mind blurry, you know, not think clearly here. I think honestly that's why this person wasn't consistent with you. It, it feels like, it, and I am getting like a substance abuse issue around this, but it also could be um, a mental health issue, like anxiety, depression, something that just didn't make them think clearly at the time here so I, you know try not to be too hard on this person when they do um show up to apologize because i feel like a lot of this actually really wasn't their fault it, it wasn't oh actually being corrected like it it wasn't in their control a lot of the wrong decisions they made were because they weren't thinking clearly Whoa, leaping out right on the floor here. Oh, let me try and get this, guys. <laughs> oh, there's two. Okay. So, okay, we'll go with this one first. Letting go, releasing, walking away, moving on. So, for me, this is the Eight of Cups, really, in this tarot deck oracle deck um so yeah could, could be dealing with a water sign cancer pisces scorpio um i'm getting you know a couple of things from this this is this divine masculine releasing something like that something toxic addictions things that didn't serve them really you know walking away from that moving on releasing that okay it's almost like you, you know like i said to them like them being truthful with themselves honest this confessions thing it's like they're releasing the things that clouded their judgment the things that didn't serve them and they're being honest with themselves um but you know i feel like this is many of you divine feminines what watching like you have um released your divine masculine you know you, you this got like too much for you to kind of handle and you didn't really feel like it was progressing forward and things so some of you walked away you know and it doesn't have to be permanent but you you know you released it from the time being you walked away and this divine masculine has really felt that <clears throat> you know as with these connections that's what happens like when you kind of just like you're kind of done, you let go, release. Um, it's you, you, they feel your energy pull away from them, you know, and this is what's kind of bringing this person back in, this return. Um, we also got mirror, uh, reflection, shared feelings, you. So, like I said, you are a mirror of each other, you know, they feel how you feel. So, it's almost like this magnet, like, when you kind of started to walk away, pull your energy away, it pulled them to you, you know, and it's kind of, 
brought these shared feelings together because they've realised, um, you know, how much they miss you, how much of a void there is in their life without you. And really, you know, you kind of moving away, like I said, like a magnet draws them to you. And so now their focus is on you because your focus is on you. So their focus is on you, if you get me. Hmm. Wow. I mean, this is quite a heavy read so far. Hmm. But I just, I really do feel whatever was clouding their judgment could be some toxic people around them as well. Because I'm getting the word toxic a lot. So that could be, like I said, substances, drugs, alcohol, but could actually be people. And they're letting go of those things here. Okay, so I'm actually going to get some Romance Angels. Okay. So we've got Calling in Your Soulmate. So honestly, this is what you guys are doing. If this is resonating for you, if this is your story, it's like you've been calling each other in because um, you have got to that point where you are balanced within yourself and you know, aligned with your soul um, and you're, you're not like oversharing your energy and it's drawing them back in here, calling in your twin flame, <laughs> I wish this card said, but, and it is like the both of you have been doing that with these shared feelings, mirroring. So it's almost like you had to release to, to come back together, you know, children. Your love life has been affected by children. So for some of you, this could be why your Divine Masculine isn't with you. Um, right now, maybe they are in a commitment and they do have children and that is a concern for them. You know, they don't want a huge upheaval with the family. They don't want um, the children to be affected. Some of you, your Divine Masculines may want children with you. That's maybe something you've discussed. Or maybe some of you are actually pregnant um, with your Divine Masculine's child. Uh, but there is some issue with, with children coming in here. It could be a blending of family as well coming together. I do feel like that could have been an issue that has has for some time like stopped your Divine Masculine um, yeah, like I said, being with you for some of you, um, they couldn't quite leave because they didn't, you know, they, they were trying to be there for the children, which, you know, you have to give them props, you know, that that is a good thing, thinking of the children. Hmm. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You know, for me, it feels like that's a lot to do with these karmic third party situations and that's what some of them have let go of. That's what they're walking away from, moving on from. Um, because to be honest, I am getting, yeah, strongly today, like a lot of these Divine Masculines were in relationships, marriages, whatever, with kids and there wasn't really a lot of love there. There was nothing holding them together except the children. But it's finally like this group of divine masculines, if, if that's going on around them, um, they've realised that they, uh, you know, need to love themselves enough to kind of be happy and move on from that. And, you know, the children will be fine. Um, everyone heals as time goes on. Um, so it's like they've realised that the best thing for everyone in this situation is for them to love themselves, you know, and kind of not keep relationships going that, you know, there's no love there. And by then kind of loving themselves more and, and, and it feels like you divine feminines as well, like loving yourself first, actually, is what I'm being told to say that's what's calling you two into each other as well because you're finally uh giving yourselves unconditional love and that's what's been needed here 
Let's get some Tarot Illuminati. Sorry, there's a, a massive fly. I don't know if you guys can hear it. <laughs> a blue bottle. All these creepy crawlies are coming in here today. Distracting me. I don't know where that spider has gone, guys. I'm really freaked out. <laughs> it's a really fast moving one. Ah. Maybe that's like little old divine masculine coming in here. Um, fast, fast action. <laughs> Showing up. Oh, wow. Okay, the sun. Here comes the sun. Da, 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 da. Most positive card in the deck, guys. Okay, so good things are on the way here. Again, we've got the children here. So yeah, that could be an issue. I'm actually being told as well, like this could be um, childhood issues for both of you. So maybe that's something that you guys have been healing as well, mirroring childhood issues. But this is divine masculine energy as well, the sun. So I honestly feels like with this person letting go of toxic situations, toxic issues, things that didn't make them happy, like they're gonna get they're gonna find this inner happiness, this inner peace here. Um there's like an inner light kind of healing them from the inside out. Um some of them may have been going through like a detox rehab situation. Um, but yeah, I mean, real like positive times coming through here, guys. <clears throat> Actually feels like, like a stronger divine masculine. This person was not in the strongest of kind of mindsets before. But it feels like they're they're progressing to that. Um, this is also Leo energy as well. If you guys can hear the sirens as well, <laughs> there's a lot going on in this reading. Sirens, like for me, that's always like wake up calls, like doop, like divine masculine, like wake up, wake up. We know there's a lot of awakenings going on right now in the collective. We know for the divine masculines. <laughs> keep seeing this as well the lovers coming out Gemini energy here yeah uh, a return here of someone return like we got the star you guys coming back together because they do know you know who they're we'll say twin flame here these cards don't say twin flame who their person is basically they know and who they want to be with okay a lot of reconciliations happening a lot of reunions happening 2020 and you guys might be seeing um 11 11 a lot i've been asking this on my social media because so many people are um there's going to be a lot of reunions happening in 2020 not everyone unfortunately but even just seeing 11 11 is a really positive sign like you're on the right track you're getting more balance like i said um earlier within your within yourselves you know yeah it's like this divine masculine wanting to to be with their true love almost like this card was saying visualizing it affirmations about it law of attraction type thing they've been thinking about this a lot thinking about what makes them happy and trying to kind of it feels what it feels like is this group of divine masculines uh they've almost tried to be a bit of a people pleaser here too much so and and not really focused on themselves enough and that has really hindered them and also your connection but it, they're they're gonna start putting themselves first more i feel um king of swords who little transformation king here metamorphosis so they, yeah like i said have been through like a lot of spiritual growth healing awakening it's also about communication guys so i mean the king of swords is pretty decisive pretty confident here like i said overcoming this kind of inner conflict should i reach out do you know should i apologize you know would that even be enough kind of overcoming that um 
can be pretty kind of cold, distant, uh, isn't you know, air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So if you're dealing with an air sign, um, you know, your masculine could be quite kind of standoffish, doesn't reveal a lot, but inside there's a lot of love for you. There is. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's about logical communication. So it feels like when this person, um, with them getting into a less clouded mindset, you know, th th this is about coming forward with truth and clarity. Um, truth, you know, truthful communication here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so there has been a lot of tower moments here with this person, with your connection even. And But this is about sudden change. So, uh, you know, this is like the universe, source, hitting this person with a lightning bolt here, kind of waking them up. Um, Getting them moving forward out of situations that they've been stuck in for a long time. I'm always kind of drawn to like this couple falling out here. So if if your masculine's been with a in a you know in a karmic relationship and it wasn't serving them and it was pretty toxic, this is the universe like coming in to shift them out of that. But it's also sudden change within your connection. It's like a sudden. <laughs> like we got here unexpected message but just I, I got this phrase last week in a reading expect the unexpected coming in here with this person they've really um had a bit of a wake-up call here but yeah th this is like sudden change coming in to the connection sudden movement forward it feels like well, this is quite a long reading today, guys. <laughs> been uh, guided to do a long reading today. I hope you don't mind. What can you? What can I get you to drop in the chat to let me know if you're still here watching? <laughs> uh, hmm. Whoa. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to my cards. Knocking my cards off the table here. Drop a crown emoji in the chat for the royal fam, guys. <laughs> well, I'm going to take these cards because obviously uh, they were meant to come out for a reason. So, but first of all, we've got the three of pentacles. So, yeah, third party could have been around this, this situation. But I feel... With this tower, a lot of endings of those karmic relationships, and this is about the two of you coming back and you working on the foundation of your relationships. Because, like, for many of you, there wasn't really a stable foundation um, before. Because this person wasn't stable; they were balanced. But it's more like a ground. 